Hey guys, it's Kiki here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, once you subscribe, you join the pride. We're all lions and lioness here embracing our manes. So once you subscribe, you join the pride. <laughs> and if you're a returning member of the pride, welcome back. It's good to see you. In today's video, I am giving you the requested topic, why I started my micro locks again. I know, I know, you know. We would have been four months strong, five months strong in the game right now if I did not stop. But you know, I had, you know, a couple of concerns with that first set. And I said, you know what? With as many concerns as I have, I know overall I'm not gonna be satisfied. Being that this is a permanent style, I want everything perfect. That is why I took out the first set of locks. And in this video, I'm gonna be dropping comparison photos as well as videos. I hope you like my set and I'm doing a more comfortable, you know, cozy video this time. You know, I got my jogging pants on, my socks, got my, you know, I'm just here. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. I did, we got some good food, got to see the fam. I hope everybody had a great time. But moving on. The number one reason why I restarted my micro locks is because I was not satisfied. As I mentioned earlier, I was not satisfied with the parting. I was not satisfied with the sizing. You know, at first when I did them, I'm like, okay, they're small enough. But as time went on, I started to find pieces that were bigger than others. Some pieces that were super small, like especially on the sides. My hair is a lot finer on the sides and in the back, the nape of my neck. So I did not take into account proportioning as well. And then the thicker part of my hair is at the top, the crown. That's the thickest part. I realized some of my smaller, some of my side pieces and back pieces were super small, but I did the center, which is thicker, bigger. So I'm like, that does not make any sense. Come on, Kiki, what were you thinking? As time went on, I did see that. Another reason, I obsessed over my parting. As you know, I like my crispy parts. I don't know what it is, but something about some crispy parts. Now they were crispy. Indeed, they were very crispy, but my center part, I spent so much time on that center part. And you know when you spend so much time on it, like that's right, that's right. But as time goes on and you keep looking at it, you realize that that thing crooked AF. I'm like, I spent literally a whole 20 minutes trying to make sure this part was correct. And it's not. So I was like, ooh. And I had already interlocked at that point. I waited two days to interlock, y'all. I waited two whole days. And I said, this is it, I'm ready. I, I should have paid more attention to my parting and sizing then. Like I could have saved so much time. I could have been four months, five months into that journey. I never wanted to take my locks out, y'all. I never wanted to. But I said, you know what? I said, I'm gonna try to attempt to take these interlocks out. And when I tell y'all that was the nastiest process I've ever went through, I will never do that again. I will cut my hair off before I do that again. It took a whole week, probably longer than that, to take them locks out. I had used my fingers, you know, I had untwisted, of course, but when the interlock, I had already interlocked twice at that point. So taking out an interlock is no joke, especially on these fine sides right here. It was no joke, no joke. And I said, you know what? I said, this is the one and only time that I'm doing this because the next time is gonna be right. When I took them out, I had no idea, you know? I had no idea that I was gonna start again this soon because I was like, maybe I need to give myself a little bit more time. Maybe I need to make sure that that's what I really want. Because you know, hindsight being 2020, this is the third reason. Well, not the third reason, but I think another reason why I overall took my locks out but I didn't know it at that time. I think I was having an identity crisis. You know, I have been natural for nine whole years. Five, uh, five, six of those years being on YouTube. My Afro, Lionel, she's gorgeous. I don't care what nobody else say. And you know, I literally think I had an identity crisis because that was my identity. Lionel was my identity. My Afro was my identity. Like that's what people know me for. While I was taking my hair down, I did not feel that way, but hindsight being 2020, I was like, you know, subconsciously, I was having an identity crisis. I'm like, wow. Like, first of all, I am not my hair. What Andy Ari say? I am not my hair. <laughs> we go bleed it out, cause I can't say. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not my hair, y'all. 
I am not. I'm not going to be identified by Lionel. I am Kiki J. Hair or no hair, my hair can. I can shave my hair bald the next day. I'm still Kiki J. I'm still sexy. I'm still bad. I'm still fierce. But I feel like that little crisis that I had was a part of the motivation, I guess, to take my hair down. But you know, like I said, I never wanted to, but I'm like, I'm not me anymore because I don't have my Afro Lionel. But as again, I said, I am her. You know, it took some time, some thought, you know, some deep thinking, like, I'm not my hair, baby, I'm not. I'm still fabulous, with or without Lionel. I love her to death. Lionel is not always guaranteed. She's not, and I'm not my hair. I've quickly learned that I'm not about to let that to stop my decision. I love micro locks. I, like I said, I have a whole Pinterest board dedicated to micro locks, locks in general. All types of locks are beautiful to me, honey. Like, if I could go to the mature phase like that, I would have did it. And you know, I did contemplate getting um, lock extensions, but I was like, you know, I don't have any shade or no shade towards anybody who goes that route, but I wanted all of my hair to be my hair. I didn't want any extensions, I didn't want anything, because I have a beautiful head of hair. I wanted it to just be her, so she can flourish, go through these stages, just, just be amazing. I didn't want anything covering her up, cause honey, she's fabulous. Can we just, she's fabulous. And y'all, I did do a retwist, by the way, but, you know, as I mentioned in my other video, I did want to do a retwist this time. And so I will have a separate dedicated video showing you. I also filmed me doing the retwist. This is my first retwist ever, so I hope I did good. You know, she looking crispy. <laughs> she looking crispy, y'all. I'm all over the place. Those are my main reasons, to be honest, as to why I restarted my micro locks. The parting, the sizing, as well as I never wanted to stop. I think my subconscious got in the way. I hate that that happened. I wish that I would've, you know, spent a little bit more time thinking out because I went a lot smaller this time, if you couldn't tell. I went a lot smaller this time. I haven't counted them yet. That will be a separate video. I'm not, I haven't forgot about it. I'm coming with the videos now. Make sure you subscribe. Those are my main three reasons as to why I restarted my micro locks. But I do believe that the last set was just as beautiful. She was, but I'm liking the density that I'm getting. Everything looks even. My twists look, well, my locks look even. I don't have any that's bigger or smaller than the others. And let me, you know, just give you some shots. This is the next day after me um, retwisting my hair. I retwisted it yesterday. Saturday, November the 28th is when I retwist it. This is what she looking like. Not the retwist. The retwist. Oh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh. Mm, not the retwist. The retwist. She looking healthy. Listen. But yeah, y'all, I hope you can see the details because I don't even know what, I don't know what I'm showing. But again, I got those shots in the actual retwist video itself. So you'll be able to see her in more detail there. Uh, I did see a lot, a couple of comments on Instagram asking, are these sister locks? Are these micro locks? How did you determine the size that you wanted? These I would consider micro locks. I don't think they're small enough to be sister locks. Somebody tell me down below if I'm wrong. How did I determine the size? I know from my last set that those were too big and I said, you know, I want them a little bit smaller. You know, I like the density that I'm getting. You know, hopefully when they mature, they swell up some more. You know, I just want that fullness. And not to say that traditional locks or any other lock doesn't give you that fullness. They do. I actually, you know, thought, wait, well, maybe down the road I might combine. You never know. I do like some thick, luscious locks. But yes, y'all, I just think locks are beautiful and I'm excited that I'm at this phase in my life where I wanted to go strong with it because it's literally something that I've been looking at, considering, contemplating, debating. I, I've literally been obsessing over locks since I got my first set of locks in 2011, 
that I only kept for two weeks. If I had a kept going, my friends, the hair would have been at the booty by now. I'm not, I'm, I'm just telling you. That's a whole eight years of growth. Listen, what did I say? When she get down the back, you not about to be able to tell me a thing. But yes, y'all, I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I got off of the top of my head. The reasons why I did decide to restart my micro lock. Again, once you subscribe, you become a member of the Pride. We're all lions and lioness here, embracing our manes. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything in the future. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.